It's time for you to unwind, cause tonight we gonna have a ball, y'all. From all over the world, we are bringing you the funniest new comics in Los Angeles. Welcome to Love After Dark. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet and make some noise for your host, Luke Ashley. dance anymore anyways you guys like my uh, outfit what's up do you like my butt this is this is what me and my sister do when we trying to look sexy we go like this and then I get a Charlie horse. I'm like, fuck it, stop. It won't go away. <laughs> oh, y'all ready for some funny comedians? Keep it locked. We have Crystal Adams and Melanie Bessie. Laugh After Dark. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's keep it moving with Crystal Adams. Well, you guys look like a really progressive crowd. I'm really glad that you guys are here. I just want to clear up something up top. I am not a political comedian. I just have the face of one, okay? <laughs> it's just, I know, I know you're like, it's the glasses. Um, no, I promise you if I took them off, I would still look like a professor of African-American studies. <laughs> I look like I've read Malcolm X 800 times. And I use the word pundit a lot in a sentence. I see it, I've looked in a mirror. It's funny, it's interesting because I think black women, we're starting to get away with a little too much. We, like we are, like, it, cause people just look at me and confer knowledge on me, you know? They're like, yes, Khaleesi. <laughs> Run for office, Khaleesi. I'm like, I just found out there are two different kinds of senators. Um, I don't know if I'm the right choice. <laughs> it's really getting out of hand too, like I, <laughs> Like a white woman asked me to be a writer on a monthly political show. And I said yes. <laughs> because I am reclaiming my time. Um, so now I'm a writer on this show. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> I literally sit there every month and I make this sound every now and then. Mm. You know? Mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. You know? <laughs> Black women condescending is in vogue these days, and I am serving, you know what I mean? It's great. Uh, use it. <laughs> I, uh, I was single for a really long time. I was single for so long that uh, at one point I sneezed, and then I said, bless you, okay? That's, that's too long. But dating is, I don't recommend it. It's, uh, it I can't discourage you enough from doing it. Um, <laughs> I was dumped by a pastor. Oh. Yeah, he stopped calling, he stopped texting. I don't know if anybody else has had the pleasure of being holy ghosted. Um, <laughs> but it, it fucking feels the same. Um, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> feels the same. I did some online dating and I ended up uh, on a date with a dude who, maybe not for you guys, but for me was a, a little too on parole. And um, I feel real dumb about it now because I realized he was trying to tell me, like we were trying to pick out a place to meet and he kept asking, which county is it in? Which county is it in? I just thought he was really into geography, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I am getting, I'm getting older, which I don't know, it's, it changes things. Like, I, I'm not, I guess I'm not too worried. Like, I don't know if you've been watching black women just Benjamin buttoning their way through life. Um, it's very insane. Like, like my mom looks really good for her age. Yes. 
My mom looks really good for her age, but she started doing this thing when we go out in public where she makes strangers guess which one of us is the daughter. Uh, it's very rude. <laughs> so I started playing my favorite game, which is making my mom guess how she'll get home. And um, car trumps melanin, turns out, <laughs> turns out. but I have been trying to take care of myself. Like I, I lost 50 pounds. Um, thank you, thank you, 10 years ago. And um, I'm still on the applause collection tour. Um, I did lose 50 pounds, but a few years ago, I was looking for a new fitness routine. And the one that caught my eye was Soul Cycle. You guys know Soul Cycle. If you don't know Soul Cycle, it's just a room full of stationary bikes and a guy named Tristan yells at you. That's. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, she's nodding yes, yes, she's agreeing. That's what it is. I'm gonna be honest with you, the reason Soul Cycle caught my eye is because I thought it was a black thing, okay? I'm sorry, you just gonna take that word from us? It's been ours for so long. I'm so, what, Soul Music, Soul, soul Food, Soul Boy. I'm sorry. Um, it's just been ours for a minute, I was livid. <laughs> You know, I was like, you, you know what? You know what Soul Cycle should be? Soul Cycle should be an app on your phone, and then every month, Barry White tells you when you're about to get your period. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, like every 28 days, he just slides in, like, hey, it's Barry White. <laughs> Baby, tomorrow, don't wear white. You know, <laughs> think we need it. Don't steal it. <laughs> I, uh, I live in LA and I've been having some interesting interactions with the homeless recently. Uh, in fact, I was driving and there's a homeless man standing and I had my window down. This homeless man timed his sneeze <laughs> directly into my car. So I made a wish. Uh, <laughs> like the timing and trajectory were too perfect, you know? That's wish material, you know what I mean? Honestly, I wish to not have hepatitis. Um, it's very gross. But uh, recently, a homeless woman called me nigger trash. I know, we're all offended by the word trash. Um, I can say it. You have no idea how much I've thrown away. Um, I, yeah, she called me nigger trash, and I thought about it. Like, I don't think I actually have a feeling about those two words together in that order. You know? Like... But if she had called me trash nigger, wow. Uh, I have some fucking feelings about that. Cause that'd be like her calling me like I'm a trash black person. Like I'm bad at being black. <laughs> if she had called me a trash nigger, I'd be like, how does she know? I've not finished the last season of Scandal. How does she know? How does she know I like mayonnaise? How's she know? What a wig snatch, you know? <laughs> you know I was upset when the white woman called the police on the black people that had the barbecue before tasting the barbecue. <laughs> you realize that shit? She didn't even taste it. She didn't. Because I'm just saying, like, if, if she had tasted it and, it, and then if it didn't taste right, <laughs> I might be on board with that call. You know what? Cause I mean, they might be fake black, they might be trash niggers, is what I'm saying. You know, it's like, we might need to round them up and send them to seasoning salt jail, you know? It's Lowry's court. Bad barbecue is a travesty. I just think there should be some consequences, you know? You know, I do think, I think that, um, that all the, our issues that we're having with race though recently, I think a lot of it has to do with people are just putting things together in their mind that don't really go together, you know? Like, my sister's in grad school, and a guy in her class tells her, hey, you know the only reason you got in is because of affirmative action. I know, which, weird way to introduce yourself, you know? <laughs> it's like, hi, I'm Lucifer. Um, <laughs> I fucking go here now, you know? <laughs> but it's weird to me because it's a grad program, it's a math program, like, you couldn't just show up, be black, and get in. Like, it's not the prison system, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's like, it's not auditions for the whiz, you know what I mean? Like, 
It's, it's a math program. That's crazy to me. And it made me think, like, I think this guy thinks she got to take all the fun black versions of the math classes to get there, you know? Like, I think he thinks there's a Def Jam algebra, you know? Or like a Mo Beta math, you know what I mean? Like, there isn't. I wish there was. You know, like, don't you think I wish that I got to take math classes taught by Missy Elliott? And then every day she just asks us super black math problems, you know? She's like, ficky, ficky. Now, <laughs> if a Cadillac leaves Cleveland at 420, but a soul train leaves Compton at 530, <laughs> are we moving on up, you know? <laughs> Show your work. <laughs> if it's worth it, you know? <laughs> you guys have been Crystal. Keep it going for yourselves. We got more laughs on the way, so stay tuned. Yo, laugh after dark. Put your hands together for Melanie Vessie. Yes! Hi, Queens! Hi! Oh my God, this is awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's always an honor to be performing stand-up comedy. Uh, I took a little break from comedy because I was happy. Uh, but I'm back now. Stressful times we're in right now, you guys. Stressful, can you feel it? Can you fucking feel it? The stressful times. I've been dealing with my stress by watching a lot of TV been watching Hoarders. Anybody else with this fucking nightmare of a show? Yes. Everybody's seen an episode of Hoarders, right? Well, if you haven't seen an episode of Hoarders, essentially it's just like the TV show The Bachelor, uh, but with less trash. You know what I mean? No, I'm serious. It's a show about people who want to be married to their trash, right? Then there's this real family there that's crying like a fucking side bitch, right? Then you've got this therapist there that's talking to the hoarder, that's telling them, hey, you could choose your family or you could choose trash, right? <laughs> and then there's this hoarder that's like, oh, I'm not sure. What do I choose? Can I buy a vowel? Can I get a lifeline? Like, how do I win this show, you know? But I had a little epiphany watching the show, which is this. Um, I noticed that all of the hoarders are... Um... Yeah, I don't want to offend anybody, but they are... Um... All the hoarders are... Um... All right, I'll just, I'll just go for it. They're all white ladies, you guys. It's all, it is all fucking white women. Uh, and I think this might be the reason why 53% of white women voted for Trump. Because uh, they don't know how to take out the fucking trash, you guys. They don't know how to fucking do it. And here's the thing, I get it. I really do understand why you would want to marry your trash. I really, really do. Because trash knows when to shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, trash won't leave you. I fucking get it. I completely understand. I really, really do. But I'm telling you, it's not a good look to be a white lady in 2018. It's not a fucking good look. The only thing that helps me a little bit is that I'm gay. Um, but not everybody clocks me for gay. You know what I mean? I don't always look like Joan Jett's ex-girlfriend. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm kind of like a secret shopper, you know what I mean? I can move amongst the straights and the breeders, you know? And then I can report back to headquarters and tell them that no one is giving straight women orgasms. <laughs> uh, which is why I think 53% of white women voted for Trump. Because uh, I think they were hoping that someone might grab them in the pussy, do you know what I mean? They were like, get out there and vote, you know? Um, <laughs> It's not just the older white women that's ruining it for the rest of us. Uh, it's some of the younger ones, too. Maybe you guys have this friend that's like, I'm a witch, you guys. I'm a witch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you get my Facebook invite to the full moon solstice gathering? Can you please wear your wolf howling at the moon t-shirt and bring your crystals? I'm a witch. Oh my God. 
you are not a witch, okay? You're a basic bitch in a shawl, okay, Brittany? You're not, you're not a fucking witch. You're not a witch. You're a receptionist at a WeWork, okay? You're not, just, you're not a witch, okay? You're not a witch. You're wearing $200 leggings, okay? You're not a witch. You're not a pagan, Megan, okay? You're not a fucking witch, all right? Witches did shit, okay? They made medicine, they controlled weather, okay? They began and ended lives based on the truths that they told, okay? They didn't order Postmates to a tent at Coachella, okay? It's not what a fucking witch makes, you know what I mean? <sighs> Super annoying, frustrating times. I'm personally really frustrated because uh, things are going fucking awesome for me, you guys. <laughs> But I can't enjoy it, because uh, leave it to me to figure out life, like, right as the world is ending. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's great. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be signing my Netflix special, and the pen is going to come up off the paper, and outside it's just going to be like, poof, mushroom cloud. You know, like, I'm going to be running for cover with a network exec, and they're totally going to be like, we really had such big plans for you. Ah! you know? And then his face is going to melt like he's looking at the Ark of the Covenant, you know? <laughs> Like, I'm gonna be under a desk with like P.T. Anderson and Bill Murray, and they're gonna tell me that I am the perfect woman to play the lead in their role, that I'm over 30 and can't get below 150 pounds. I'm just mwah, perfection, right? And my face will be the last thing they ever fucking see, and I won't be able to fucking tweet about it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna get up to heaven, and God's gonna be like, Mel, I don't know what you're so worried about. Did I not promise you a life beyond your wildest dreams? I just didn't say when. Just... Oh, and I'm gonna send you back down because I got you an audition for Hoarders. Uh, I'm Melanie Bessie, you guys were great. I know you're not going anywhere. You better stay tuned. Laugh After Dark will be right back. What was that? Oh, no, we can't. Silly, stop. <laughs> he wants to get freaky right now, but we can't. Stop, I'm trying to work. Um, what? <laughs> you guys have to go home. The show is over!